Today on Rallies and Rides, we're going to explore some essential gear. Whether I'm going on an hour long ride or a six day trip, there's a few things that I never leave home without and pretty well always just leave in my motorcycle. Join me as we look at essential equipment on Rallies and Rides. Being prepared is no accident. With a few simple tools that should always be in your motorcycle, you'll be prepared for most every situation. It's that preparation that makes traveling by motorcycle most enjoyable. The first thing that we're going to look at is today's basic toolkit. Motorcycles these days are far more complicated than just doing a carb rebuild on the side of the road. And we also don't have to worry about being stranded like we used to. There's a few essential tools though that I think every motorcycle enthusiast should have to basically maintain and get, if there is an emergency, from one spot to the next. Let's take a look at our basic toolkit and talk about why I keep each of these tools in my bag. A basic toolkit that I like to carry contains the following. Zip ties, pliers, an adjustable wrench, a couple screwdrivers, a flashlight, duct tape and electrical tape, a lighter, a small pocket knife, and if I have the room or plan on taking a very long trip, a saddlebag sized gas tank of one gallon. A pair of pliers and an adjustable wrench are going to tighten a bolt down real quick, get a spark plug out if you need to check it, get a hose clamp off. Basically these are great just to help you get around the bike and tighten something up real fast. A seat comes loose or you just need to tighten something down, you're going to need a couple screwdrivers. A nice small flashlight is great for an evening inspection if you hear a noise and just want to check something out or if you're putting your gear on and just need a little bit of extra light. I always have a little flashlight laying around. Duct tape and electrical tape. For the big jobs when you need something that's not staying or it's rattling around or you need some sort of secured tape and obviously electrical tape if there's an instance where you need to put a wire back together or something comes loose. Both are important to have. The lighter's not so much for survival or starting a fire. Those days of, of being stranded are long gone. But it's always good to just have a lighter around. You don't know if a rope's fraying and you need to, to uh, melt it down or just do something. But a lighter's good to have. Same with a knife. Uh, there might be a piece of rope that you'll need to cut, a strap that's just not quite working. A lighter and a knife are great to have in your toolkit. If you have the room, these are great. It's a one gallon gas tank that's designed to fit in the saddlebag. Um, Harley Davidson hard bags are what these are kind of built for, but they sit up in there. You've got that flush there uh, that when you're packing the rest of your bag, it's nice and square in the front. But for long trips, a one gallon gas tank can sure help you out if you're in a pinch. These are the basics of a toolkit, but something I think that you should never leave behind when you take a trip. Assembling a basic first aid kit is simple, and easy. There's a few things that you want to make sure that you always have in your kit. These lists of essentials are provided by the American Red Cross and are found on their website. One of the things that I never leave home without is my first aid kit. You can purchase a prepackaged one or find a list of recommended items from the American Red Cross on our website rallyesandridestv.com Let me show you a few things that I never leave home without. The first is a sunscreen. It's a nice spray applicator and it helps you not get burnt when you're riding. The second, chapstick. Your lips are gonna get burnt out there and crack so having a good chapstick is great. The basics are also found in my first aid kit. Band-aids, 
burn ointments, antiseptic creams, alcohol pads, gauze. Those are the things that are going to help buy you time to wait for an emergency responder or simply just get down the road. My kit comes with a first aid instruction pamphlet that actually talks about what to do in emergency situations. I've added a few things also to my first aid kit. Ibuprofen, great for those headaches. An allergy pill, in case I get a runny eyes or runny nose, just helps there. And then I've also packed uh, an antihistamine, a little bit heavier dosage. This is gonna be for those allergic reactions or the emergency where I been stung by a bee and didn't realize that I was allergic. Again, this is going to help buy you time and either wait for the emergency responder or help you get down the road. Again, on the uh, antihistamines, make sure you do read the directions and follow them carefully because you might not be able to operate your vehicle once you take these. A couple simple things that will help put miles down the road are also some hand warmers. You never know when your feet or hands are going to get cold and you need to slip these into your gloves. An emergency blanket. Although the days of being stranded are over, there's still times when you might find that you need to pull over and get your body temperature up. I'm sure that we've all had a story of riding through a mountain pass being totally freezing. Sometimes you need to listen to your body and maybe warm up. Quick little basic poncho and one of these reflective strips. I like them because in an emergency you can turn these on to actually blink or just stay solid and then again in an emergency situation where you need to get some help standing on the road waving this is going to help someone see you quicker and also identify that you need some help. It's a basic kit. It takes up no room and it should be in your saddlebag or on your motorcycle. These next two items are probably in your motorcycle bag right now, but it's always good to remember them. A cotton bandana is going to keep you dry in the rain, the cold off of you, and when you've been riding for hours in the sun, keep your nose from getting burnt and a good pair of lightweight leather gloves. You can never ever have enough pair of leather gloves laying around. Make sure you got some in your saddlebag. The last thing I never leave home without, and a road tip from Rallies and Rides, is a trash bag. These garbage sized trash bags are great for situations when you find yourself caught in the rain and just need to buy a little bit of time. There are those times when the rain comes and you just didn't have your rain suit ready. Let me show you a quick tip to help keep you dry while you and your passenger, or just you, get prepared for the rainstorm coming ahead. At home, before you take off, I want you to cut three holes into this trash bag. The first being the spot for your head to come through. Doesn't have to be pretty, just needs to be there. The second are gonna be your armholes. We've got the three holes cut out for the head and arms. Now let me show you real quick how to use this. Let me set the scenario up for you. You're riding and the rain starts to come down. There's not an overpass for miles. You have two choices. Do you take your helmet off, your gear, pull out your rain gear, start to put on your boots, your pants, your rain jacket. In the meantime, you're getting soaked while this is happening. Or you can use this method. Simply grab the bag that we've already got set up and place it on. In a matter of seconds, you've got a quick, waterproof solution that's going to help you take your time to put your rain gear on. You can put your pants on, 
put your jacket on, and then let me show you the tip to take this off once your rain jacket's on to stay dry. Simply just tear the bag off. You've got your rain jacket on and therefore you're staying dry and you literally just pull the bag off. It's a great tip and it's one that I've used many times and stayed dry during a rainstorm. I hope that you've enjoyed my motorcycle essentials. These are things that I never leave home without and for literally a few dollars can save my life or help me stay on the road longer. If you enjoy rallies and rides, I invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel or check us out online at RalliesAndRidesTV.com. For Rallies and Rides, I'm Eric Guype.